I think we're good. Yeah. You can hear everyone? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I did it. Good stuff. Audio is solved. <laughs> Yay. Thank <laughs> Joe. Eternity. Thank Joe, because he fixed it for us last week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Joe work works magic even from afar. I know, right? I thought like the man's, we love him. Like the man's, the yes. man's tendrils uh, go far. Uh all right, cool. Well uh, hey everyone. Uh welcome to Rivals of Waterdeep, uh season six finale. Uh Ooh. episode sixty. Yeah. Uh so let's go around and share who we are, what we do, our characters and all that good stuff. Starting with Tanya. Hey, my name's Tanya. I play Sleece Astorio, your human grumpy paladin. Um, Sleece's pronouns are she, her, which I forgot last week. Sorry about that. And we'll see what happens in this uh, shenaniganry of snails and whatever else may happen. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I guess we. Uh, yes, hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Brandon Stennis. Uh, I play Ren Leodon. Uh, pronouns for both me and Ren are he, him. Hey guys, I am Cicero Holmes. I play Perrin Underbow, your halfling bard. Both Perrin and my uh, pronouns are he him. And I am Latia Bryant, playing your uh, punchy Eric Coker monk, Dahani. Uh, both Dahani's pronouns and mine are she, her. Oh, punchy. I like that. Punchy. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm Sharif Jackson, your DM. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. Uh, NPCs are varied, uh, and the snails are, who knows? Um, all right, great. Uh, so why don't we start off by giving some people shout outs that support us before we get into the recap. Um, start out with D&D Beyond, uh, our character sheets, our source books, all that great stuff, l l l looking up spells. If you want your, all, all your D&D stuff um, available digitally, uh, make sure to go to dndbeyond.com &D 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 and check out their arsenal of stuff there. Um, and we are, uh, I, I should probably, I should remember what bundle that we're giving away because I always have to ask. During adventure. The, we are giving an adventure bundle, which is very, very good. Not legendary, but it's a great bundle. Uh, so if you're in the Twitch chat, uh, you will uh, see a code you can enter in um and then there'll be a raffle late, later in the show um you have to be in the chat to win so don't enter and then leave if you want a chance at that bundle um so check out tndbeyond.com uh we also have dice vaults and trays from wormwood gaming uh w i r m wood gaming uh go to wormwoodgaming.com and use the code rivals for free domestic shipping uh we also have dice from level up dice um, and we are in their Dicomancy program where we get points and stuff if you buy things from our link. So if you go to bit.ly uh, slash LUD, Rivals of Waterdeep, um, and order some things, we will get points and level up and, and get things and then hopefully raffle those things back off to you. So make sure to um, check out Level Up Dice there. Um, we also have notebooks from the Rook and the Raven. So if you want to write your stuff down, and then erase it and write it down again, and then erase it and write it down again. You can go to the Rook and, and the Raven.com and use the code Rivals for 15% off. Um, and then uh, Eldritch Foundry, uh, we posted some fantastic shots of, of our minis um, that were recently painted. Mm -hmm. um, they were very, very awesome. Um, so make sure to go to Eldritch Foundry.com um, and use the code Rivals DND uh, for. 10% off. Um, yeah, those minis were phenomenal. Um, so, all right, cool. So that's all the people that like support us. Shout out. Um, Shout out. Yeah, 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 for sure. So uh, let's go into a recap from last week. So previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. 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 Oh, so like you like can't see my hands because of the virtual background. You can kind of see them kind of go in and out. Um, all right, so everybody's up to speed uh, on last week. So uh, we don't need a recap. Let's go into the show. <laughs> no, we, we do. Uh, no, we really do. Uh, we really do. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, does anybody remember how we started? 
Oh, God. Well, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Ren was being attacked by, uh, why, why is his name slipping my head? Gideon. Gideon, yeah. Yeah, it was being chased by Gideon. Yeah, yeah. So, so we ended, um, you know, with the uh, Cast Lanterns effectively be being defeated by the Never Embers with some help from, uh, from uh, Dahani, uh, Selyse, and Rin. Um, I think it, be it began with Dahani going outside to check out what was going on. Somebody went outside. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. So Rin was at the door. And Ren was coming back in. Yes. And as Ren was coming back in, Gideon tried to attack him. Yes, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe he met 20 or something really high yeah. to sense that because I was definitely going to have to get stabbed. Uh, <laughs> but but you sense it, which is great. Um, yeah. Um, and then we found out that, um, you know, that people were uh, connected to these uh, snails. Right. Um, yes. Uh, because Duo, uh, you know, who was who uh, had ran out and was uh, covered in uh, clothes yes. from uh, Aaron, uh, you know, he's 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 a he's a stabber, of course. Yeah, yeah. he really hates snails. He went and stabbed one. He really um, did what he does best. And then we heard screaming while that snail was being stabbed. So, so we already knew that there was a snail connection from, I think it was episode three or four when. Um, Duo killed another snail that morphed into the body of uh, Thavis Creed. Um, mm -hmm. So there's more stuff here. Um, yeah, so so we saw all that stuff, um, um, and then uh, Perrin was still, uh, you know, whining and dining. Uh, uh, Aaron upstairs. Uh, he's actually the first one that saw Duo, and then Duo ran downstairs. Yes, um, and then uh, Perrin. Uh, went downstairs and you know just observed what was going on yeah so i have a question um yeah. th there was there was this uh subplot to try and get perrin to drink some tea yes um and he refused to drink the tea unless aaron was also going to drink some yes um what would have happened if perrin mm. drank some oh tea? i'll tell you that oh mm -hmm. Oh, okay. maybe, maybe a post, maybe a postseason chat oh. or something. Oh, all right. all right. We could talk about that. Um, yeah, look at you. Look at you during the recap. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't remember what happened after that. Uh, oh, we fought Trenchcoat Slimer. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. So, so you felt a shimmer through the window, which, you know, happened after the snail was being uh, stabbed, by the way. Um, and this was the window that you saw Baphomet in uh, at the end of the Castlander games. Um, and now you saw this huge bulbous green thingy uh, with a trench coat, affectionately known as trench coat Slimer. <laughs> um, and we had a battle with him. Uh, you know, he was uh, had a bunch of immunities, had a very high AC, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There were yeah. there were definitely some eighteens and nineteens that were missing. Yeah. Uh um but yeah, I did did do some did do some decent damage on him. You know? Um and uh you had uh I think Celise had bound Gideon. Um and he broke free from his uh restraints. Um and he uh, sort of swan dived, um, well, well, more more like a running spear at Trenchcoat Slimer, and they both went through the window. Um, so like he kind of like took uh, took Trenchcoat Slimer out of the picture, um, and then uh, Corinne had told Perrin earlier because like, Perrin kind of like walked over to him and was like kind of like trying to get some info um, about his uh, his his sis his sister. Right, mm -hmm. um, and like Corinne was like, I don't want to be here when she comes. Oh no! Um, and then she showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then she uh, showed up in a fury. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the, the uh, room got black, uh, in the same way that there was like a void in uh, in Troll School Manor when you went through the office, um, and then you appear um, in the city that you 
that uh, you previously were in where you first saw Trench Hill Slimer, which is the city of El Terrell, suspended over the river Styx and Avernus. You saw the big chains. You saw the same snail as before, um, except now um, uh, this this uh, woman who I don't think parents share that it was Corinne's sister. I think only he knows that. Uh, but this right. woman is on top of it, um, riding it, you know, like, like as, as if it is her melt. Um, and that's where we ended. More snails. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. season of snails. This is the season <laughs> of snails. I, I wanted a theme and that's what it is. <laughs> not love, not, right. not happiness, not, not friendship. Snails. 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 Mm. <laughs> Are, are you craving escargot by chance or something? You know, I I, I have not. I ha, I have actually had escargot, uh, but that was like God, eighteen years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was like about eighteen, seventeen years ago when like, I went to wow. Paris. I mean, when you're there, you have to try it. Like, like you just got to try it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> and it was pretty good. Yo, it was good for real. It it, it was actually pretty good. Um, so. Um, yeah. All right. Um, so unless anybody wants to chime in with weird foods that they've eaten. Oh, um, no. I also had escargot when I was in Paris, Texas. Oh, great. Not, no, actually, it was at the uh, Epcot Center. Was it like French. inside of a brisket? Yeah, it was at, in the, at the Epcot Center French Pavilion. So it was, you know, it was like going to Paris. I did hear about So I've never been to Disney World, but several people have told me that this like uh epcot center thing where they have all the different foods from the different countries is actually legit like yeah it is it is it is good it's not just like you know i thought it would just be like bs because they have you trapped there and they're just not going to put any effort into the food but apparently it's it's legit yeah all right okay so let's go into the episode Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, as y'all appear, oh yeah. Also, one one other thing I forgot to mention: um, both Little Smoke and Corinne bounced during that fight. Yeah, they went uh, upstairs. Yes, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they uh, yeah, the they, 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 they went upstairs because because the door to the outside was locked. Right, the mm-hmm. eyes were like locked in, so they, 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 they were not about that fight in life, um, and they bounced. So, all right. So. Um, so at, as you appear, um, once again, you see this uh, just large pulsating snail has a, a, sh- a shell that's kind of like turquoise aqua maybe um, with, 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 with these uh, spirals on it. Um, I'll say that the, that the shell itself is like pretty large. Like it's definitely larger than, than any of you, like for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, pr- probably I would say that the shell itself is probably like, probably like Let's see about nine or ten feet oh my gosh um, c- okay. kind of like, wow. like, like uh you know if you got some ups like you might be able to dunk on it mm. you know um, oh boy but uh yeah um and then the uh the the um actual body of the snail is like kind of kind of like a rubyish kind of like a a uh, dark brownish um and it, if you remember it like had these uh, tentacles and like that's well, like it was using for its uh, attacks the last time that you uh, right. that, that, that 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 you fought it, and the like uh, tentacles at the base did like the same kind of like like the rubyish color of the body, but as you get to the um, edges, they just get to this really sharp and distinct red, almost like a blood red, at at the at at the um, at the uh, at the uh, end. Um, and the uh, the uh, woman that is on the snail, um, you guys ha- have n- n- never seen her. Um, but actually, roll a roll a investigation because I'll assume that everyone is like, who, who is this person? All of us, uh, including yes. Perrin, including Perrin. I got a seventeen because like you're you're you're, you're here. yeah yeah yes yes you, you, you would do it as well. I'm at 18. Okay. 19. 11. Oh, wow. Awesome. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, you know, y'all are, you know, you, 
got transported. So like you're trying to figure out what what is uh, going on. You look up and you stare at her at her face. I'll say everybody uh, except Tanya with the eleven. Everyone uh, who's except, Tanya except. Yeah. Tanya has an at 20, Salise has an 11. <laughs> That's like, like this that. is Tanya. So uh, Salise wins out. Um, and you notice that you can't quite make out her face. It actually looks like very hazy. Like it almost looks like it's um, like cloudy. Like mm-hmm. almost almost like corporeal. You know, like, like it's not like a solid face. Mm-hmm. You know, almost mm-hmm. like, almost... Like you're looking at those like people that you know when they talk on camera, but like they want to hide. Oh, you got the mosaic over the faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Ew. like a pixelated face, right? Um, and uh, she's just on top of the snail, um, not doing anything right right now, just staring at you. Um, and and in the uh, you know kind of like. F- far away you you can hear like the laughter of various what like, devils and demons kind of like just like laughing so, that's right uh that's very evil um so what do y'all do um so we only hear the laughter we don't and it's coming from her does at least not know that because my low girl uh, I mean, the laughter is like coming from far away. It's almost like like it's it's almost like it's surrounding you, like like it's kind of in the air. Oh, yeah. um, it's I've, everywhere. Okay, well, I pull my sword and shield, but I don't do anything. I'm just ready in case there's combat. Okay, so shoo. That's right. So you pull that joint out, and you and you are ready to go. Um, anyone else do anything? Um. Perrin cocks his head to the side and, you know, kind of like placing the face and then his eyes get a little bit bigger and he, and he's, and he says, hmm. precisely understandable. This is why Corinne ran. Everyone, this is Corinne's sister. Mm. Oh. Um. But he is definitely afraid of her. Should we be afraid of her as well? Well, is there really anything to fear except for the unknown? Mm. Make a point. Where are we? That's Dahani because yeah. this has yeah. never happened to Dahani before. Never so, are you saying that out loud, Dahani, or are you asking one of us? And I did, like just kind of into the open air, like kind of asking y'all, but mm-hmm. also just like because I assume it's a question for the universe, right? Because <laughs> I assume that you all kind of look like this has happened before. Mm. Meanwhile, Dahani is all ruffled feathers and fists ready to go. And what the heck? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, and we can answer her. We have been in quite crazy situations before, so this doesn't seem like anything different we're not used to. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, actually, I, actually, no, I will set the scene for Dahani since this is her first time Yay. here. Um, well, she might have been to Avernus in her past. I don't know. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, she will take a job anywhere. Um, <laughs> you know, so so um, as you transport here like you just are overwhelmed by like the stench of the air like it just smells like just like awful awful death and just things that are molded and things that are like just just like overly overly burnt um and the uh the uh sky is like blood red um it just looks like you know it just looks like a sky that you have have like never seen you i feel like there's like ash all around you i'll say that you actually feel like there might be some on your feathers actually no. um and as you look around you just see a city that you've never recognized sorry that that you don't recognize um you see these massive chains that appear to be coming up from parts 
of the city and like soaring into the sky to like an unknown place. Um, and it just seems like despair and hopelessness. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. All of a sudden, uh, uh, this a woman hops down off the snail um, and she walks up to Solis and says, you can lower your weapons. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not concerned with you. That's that voice and that laughing that I hear. Oh well, you'll you'll get used to it. This is this is this is this is a place where there's always that kind of of uh, laughter and and this. I know the smell here is like a little horrifying, but it's a lot better than the uh, way you were. I just had to transport you somewhere safe. Safe. How do we trust you? Doesn't feel safe. Well, yeah. um. I think in the situation that you were in, uh, I'm pretty much the only one you can trust. Like the Castellanters are very, very bad people. And uh, clearly you were caught up in something. I mean, I could see from your look that you weren't, uh, you know, that you weren't one of the worshipers. So um, I had to I had to get you out of there. Madam, are you not also a Castellanter? Um, let's see. All right, uh, she looks unnerved as you say that. Um, and she kind of, she looks down and she says like, um, I name only. Hmm. Well, mm. We've, uh, perhaps you're unaware that we've been Acquainted with your brother, Corinne. Oh, yes, that, that, that dolt. He, oh, he told me that we should fear you. Is that correct? Well, I'm, how much do you know about Corinne? Hmm. Only so far what he's told us. We know he is particularly useless in their fight. It's <laughs> <laughs> so nice for you. Um, <laughs> uh, and then like she like says, uh, yeah, you definitely know my brother for sure. Um, yeah. Um, and then um, the, the uh, as she says that, she looks back at the snail and the snail is like kind of like vibrating and making these like Unrec unrecognizable kind of like noises like <laughs> oh okay is that the snail uh, language <laughs> that, 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 that is the the uh, done language of snails <laughs> <Dun> <laughs> um, <laughs> and she she she, she uh, looks back at the uh, at the uh, snail and is nodding her uh, her head and then she looks back at like uh, y'all and like I said, did y'all attack my snail? Is, well, where's your snail been? She's been here. But she just said that she, the last time that you saw, that she saw you, you sliced one of her tentacles off and attacked her. We've just and, been attacked by other snails. And now she's scared. She, uh, she, Failed to mention, of course, that she reached out and touched us without our consent. Reached out and touched you, or do you think she m might have been just snooping around her environment? Well, I think mm. that we were doing the same, and perhaps it was a giant misunderstanding. Mm. But, but you can't, you can't blame us, of course, because. We were uh, dealing with the unknown. Well, I'm not blaming you. I'm just, I'm just, just sending the a message. So these snails have gotten a really bad rap. Okay, and that's one reason I wanted to uh, talk to you in a. Uh, I know this doesn't seem like a safe place, but as long as I'm, 
as long as I'm here with with uh, with uh, my snail, we should be good. Um, but look, here's the skinny. Okay, would they say that in Waterdeep? Here's the skinny. <laughs> no, no that be it's a, absolute plain. What, is, what are you a fifties paper boy? <laughs> <laughs> here's the word. Say right. Extra, extra. Um. Extra. <laughs> um yeah, so like uh she basically says, um um I've been on a journey to uh you know, find a home for these snails. Um they uh you know, they ha- they have this link to Avernus, um, in that a lot of them have been birds here. Um and then she puts her like hand on on on, on the large snail and like that she says, by uh, Margie here. Um Margie's a pretty nice snail, um, but unfortunately, um, you know, people have, um, you know, uh, you know, forced her to bird these like snails, and uh, because they were birthed in Avernus, um, the uh, the the uh, the uh, substance that they leave um, is is like also linked, and, and I noticed that you know that like when like, a lot of these snails were like disappearing, I I followed them. And I saw that um, not only at the castle in this place, but several other places um, seem to have uh, used these snails to try to commune with the darkest parts of Avernus um, by uh, building windows that seem to have a link to the darkest parts of Avernus. Avernus is not bad. Have, is, is this your first time here? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and no. No, not at all. Mm. Hmm. Well, I don't recognize you. Uh, so, like, you must not have been here for long. I've been here for a very long time, and and like I've been trying to trying to free these snails. Um, uh, but Margie, Margie is a good one, you know. And and uh, as, <laughs> as, as as she, as she says that, uh, Mar- M- M- Margie kind of like you know just looks kind of like content, mm. as as content as a large snail can look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. A content little snail. Right. Um, as she's saying this from, 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 from like another portal, um, kind of like, like I'd say about 50 feet, like, like um, you know, that's like behind the, the snail, but in your point of like a view, um, out of the air, uh, you see Gideon and Trenchcoat Slimer kind of fly out of this portal uh, and they're wrestling. They yeah. are wrestling. You know what I mean? Um, oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, She's exactly. a They they are wrestling. You know, uh, they are in essential service. Uh, so uh, wrestling must go on. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, and and uh, yeah, she uh, turns around and she basically says. We have to stop that green thing. Um, and she runs over, uh, uh, basically without you She she uh, j- j- just like runs toward uh, this this green trench coat slimer, and Gideon as they're fighting. Uh, do you follow her? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I'm gonna help. I'm gonna go because I'm tired of trench coat slimer. Right. Yeah. She, she as soon as she said we have to stop that green thing, like Dahani was like. <laughs> just a bunch of feathers that's all we saw <laughs> and uh Perrin do you go as well the enemy of my enemy he's my friend and he runs after okay very very profound yeah. um all right so as you get here um yeah as as I said before it's just like Gideon and Trenchco Slimer just wailing at it, wailing at each other, um, while uh, this this uh, woman, you know, with uh, again like you know has like this like misty face, um, current cur- cur- sister, um, he, she's like trying to look for um, somewhere to attack, but it's kind of hard because they're like, you know, kind of like they're moving around a lot and like kind of like rolling, so like she can't really get a uh hit in um, does it does it look like a dragon ball z fight where they're just like these scribbly line these uh 
these slashing lines, and then every now and then you'll just see faces. Yeah, above. you know, I was actually thinking more like, um, you know, when the Tasmanian Devil is spinning around, yes. and oh, like yeah. a foot yes. and it says and like smoke its head and smoke. Yeah. I was thinking more like that. You know, mm-hmm. I, actually, okay. I think most cartoon fights were uh, like that. There was yes. smoke. Yes. You see a bunch oh, of like when, and... like when the Sims start fighting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or, or, yeah. Yeah. Or, or like when the Sims start fighting. Uh, I was just gonna do a simlish thing, but can't. Do it. I, I I don't know any simlish. Like my simlish skills are. Uh, Zuzu. Uh, atrophy. Yes, Zuzu. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I know is simlish. Yeah, yeah. As I burned my kitchen down. That's what happened. <laughs> the, that's what happened the last time I played the seven times. Burned my kitchen. That was good. It's um, just like real life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Just like real life. Um, yeah. So. Um, so do you want to, tr- you can try, if any of you want to try to attack Trenchcoat Slimer. I will say though, because it's sort of in like a, because they are kind of in this fight where it's hard to like position, you do have a chance of uh, hitting mm-hmm. Gideon as well. Mm. Now, mm. you you might not have any love for uh, Gideon, uh, but you do recognize that Ren uh, does favor him a bit, uh, but it's not like he's like down with the party or anything. So, it's a, it's up to you. Do you want to try to uh, do you want to try to join this and get a hit in, or do you want to let them scuffle it out and leave it up to the dice to see who wins? Uh, well, is there a way to separate them and join Gideon? Uh, they're like tangled up. So, I mean, you can tell me how you would try to separate them. Um, if I'm not close enough, try to Misty Step and, like, join the fray. So I'm, like, actually in striking range, but not just, like, go wild and jump in. Yeah, I'll say, I mean, if you Misty Step and get closer, it would still be hard for you because, like, they're... I mean, you, you'd have better odds, like, for sure, because you're closer. Um, okay. But, like, they're, like, kind of, like, it's like turning over like uh, you know very 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 quickly so like it would be hard for you to get a hit in all right um in that case i will put beacon of hope on everyone okay okay cool how do you oh sorry and that that gives advantage on um on what was that doing one moment please um this spell bestows hope and vitality choose any number of creatures within range for the duration, each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws and regains the num- max number of hit points possible from healing. Okay. All right, sweet. Okay. Um, Dahani will get up there. Dahani is going to try and look for trench coat Slimer's trench coat. Okay. Like as they're scuffling, like uh-huh. she's going to try and like aim for his trench coat and try and like pull him away from Gideon by grabbing out of the trench coat. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, roll a grapple. A, a trench right. coat grapple. A trench coat grapple. Oh my yeah. god. So this be athletics. What, what's what's your trench coat modifier? Yeah, what's your <laughs> trench coat modifier? Uh, well, if it's anything similar to athletics, it's a plus four. So we'll see how this goes. Yep. Right. <laughs> oh no. What did you do? Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Tell me how you, how you try to grab it. So I run over, I run over and I'm like looking with my bird eyes, trying to find, uh, trying to see what, if I can see trench coat, Slimer's trench coat, but the difference in the, the sky makes it like unrecognizable. Plus I'm, my feathers are covered in ash distracted so i can't really grab the way i want to and i'll okay. probably swipe at it like i might like i might like tear his trench coat some more i want to tear his trench coat some more but i don't i won't be able to grab it okay yeah yeah I, I i wouldn't say you tear it with your roll but 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 you you get a little piece of it but you can't like hold on to it because you know because like they're moving around uh, fighting too hard. So, so much um all right so uh after you do that, you basically see uh, tre- 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 Trenchcoat Slimer uh, uh, gets the advantage a bit. Uh, no. 
and uh, kind of like um, what is the word for it when like you do kind of kind of like a chest bump, I guess. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, wow, it's gonna be a really deep cut that probably only I know because I played crappy rented crappy games from Pathmark back in the day. Uh, there was a game called Chuck Rock. Anybody remember? Oh, that yes. That game? yes. Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock sounded uh, like Chub Rock, so yes. Yeah, it, it was a cave. It was a platformer with a caveman, yes. and like he had an attack where he would like bounce his belly. Yes. His, uh, enemies. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool because he began every level by saying, Onga Bunga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I have really bad memories. Why do I remember that? Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, so, so so like he kind of he gets the, the the advantage and chest bumps Gideon, um, and uh, Gideon, Gideon falls to the ground. Um, so now so now Trench Coat Slimer, um, you know now obviously you can get a hit on him if if you want, but he does turn to y'all. Um, but he doesn't seem like he comes any closer to you. He kind of like is going closer. To Gideon to administer, um, you know, another blow to him. Uh, Since he's on the ground, can I do an attack of opportunity or no? On, on a Gideon? No, 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 on Tresco Slimer. So G- Gideon's on the ground. Trench Trenchco Slimer is like upright. But he's oh, upright. I thought I thought Trenchco Slimer was on the ground. Never mind. No, no, hey, you, 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 you can hit Gideon. <laughs> you didn't ain't did nothing to me yet. I mean, yeah. So, uh, um, Perrin cast Bane on uh-huh. Trenchcoat Slime. Mm-hmm. Okay. He he was sidebar. He was going to cast Bane on both um, Trenchcoat Slime and Gideon if they weren't separated. But since they are, uh, Bane on Trenchcoat Slimer. Uh, he's got to make a charisma saving throw of 16. Okay. Um, Get my charisma. Oh, man. <laughs> We're at 29. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, he, um, he passed it. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, he has a pretty high charisma, uh, yeah. charisma saving throw right. modifier, but all right, so well, well, tell me how you do cast it, though. So, um, uh, he, so Perrin stands and looks directly at Trenchcoat Slimer, and he kind of cocks his eyebrow and gives him the stink eye. And, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Gives, gives him the stink eye. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Um, so, so, so yeah. Uh, Trenchcoat Trench, Trench Slimer doesn't even notice that you kind of, kind of like did that. Um, so he goes over to Gideon. Um, he's going to. Uh, uh, he's going to charge, and he's going to cast Poison Mind on Gideon, mm-hmm. which he had. Previously cast on Dahani uh, and made her blind uh, for one turn. So Gideon fails the throw. So no. not only does Gideon take. Ooh, he, ooh. Oh. oh, that was a lot of damage for me. And I saved. Yep. Oh, I failed. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, man, let me... Well, that does not sound good. That doesn't <laughs> right? sound good. Remember, that's not good. Death, death saving throw, you get advantage. Yeah, but I don't know if that applies to Gideon, though. I mean, unless you... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that... Unless you say that you cast Beacon of Hope on him as well, but I don't, I don't think you did. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he takes uh, uh, 47 points of damage Ouch. and is blinded mm. so he is uh he's on the ground and he's kind of like like you see him kind of reaching out like he's trying to see what's going on here um and uh 
Trench Coat Slimer looks down on him and just, uh, as I said before, does that 16-bit laugh from last time. Oh, 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 oh God. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so um, and then he uh, basically uh, begins to walk away. Uh, so he begins to walk away from y'all, begins to walk away from from Gideon, um, and he uh, begins to basically levitate away. Oh. So he's not fully out the picture yet, but like mm-hmm. he is like, I'm done here. Oh, so Dahani will turn to Corinne's sister as yet unnamed and say, Are we do we do we go after him or Yep. Uh she says, um, don't worry. Um she pulls out a bow. Um and she strikes a arrow, but she's not if you notice, uh, because I you you use bows, so like y- you you would notice this that she's not aiming for him, she's almost aiming in front of him, oh. like she's aiming mm. like at something. Um, so she takes her bow out, she shoots an arrow. Um, the arrow hits. Uh, it is not hit, it, it it like hits a uh, space maybe like ten feet in front of uh, where Trencho Slimer is like going and then the arrow kind of explodes into a like a black milky void and then trench coat slimer sees it and he looks like he's trying to like avoid it but he gets like sucked through it and 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 then she says we have to follow him um don't worry about uh who Whoever that is, wow! <laughs> she's, she's motioning to uh, to uh, to uh, to, to uh, Gideon. Poor Gideon. And <laughs> and she uh, basically says, like, Davius is a more important. And she runs toward oh. uh, the void, um, you know, w- which is like a height that like you could run through and like jump through. Oh, um, okay. And wow. she and, and like she is. R- 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 running toward it. Um, so, uh, do you go through the void? Uh, do you leave Gideon here? Um, um, I drop a couple healing potions right next to Gideon because it probably would take too long for me to actually heal him. And and he definitely can't see them either. He just no, like I make sure that he knows they're there. I'm not like, here's some potions, good luck. <laughs> you, you just put them just out of reach. <laughs> no, I, I put them like basically like right where he can feel them. Okay. There are two vials. One vial is healing. The other <laughs> vial is death. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a taste test. Right. Mm. Uh, I, yeah, I think Re- I think Red's gonna stay with Gideon and just try to make sure he's okay. Uh, okay. Try to join the group. All right. Uh, yeah. So the you said um, Corinne's sister knocked her notched her arrow, shot the arrow. This ink came out. Mm-hmm. And the ink followed through the void, or the ink attached itself to to. No, it 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 kind of it was like an arrow that created a portal. Essentially. Oh, okay. So the portal. Oh, okay. So the portal. And the portal looked like the. Him. Yeah, like the portal looked like the black void that you saw in the office in Trollstool sure, Manor. Sure, sure. Okay. So like, Trenchco Slimer was trying to evade this portal, but he couldn't because it was too close. So he went wow, through. Wow. Okay. So he went through that. Mm-hmm. All right, so we are yeah and the and the uh portal is still there so okay. like she's going to uh jump through it uh and... did she jump through it already or is she still not yet to... okay did you see davies and she she, she she as she's jumping through yes of course and then she jumps through hmm. uh yeah, so... Do y'all know that guy? Yeah. Thavius is the one who tried to steal uh, Trollskull Manor from Duo. Oh, my little kobold friend. Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. that's, that's all I need to know. <laughs> all right. So Leroy is Roy Jenkins. <laughs> all right. So is uh 
everybody going through except uh, Ren. So Ren, you're st- you're staying here. You're not yeah. coming with us. He's staying yeah, he's for guys, for right now. Yeah, he's he's in yeah. Oh, I get it. That portal may close. I'll find you guys. I always find some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren, 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 all right. Ren, Ren always finds a way. Um, all right. So, uh, so uh, Perrin and Dahani are, are are gone. Yeah. All right. So as y'all go through, um, you as you go through, you see um, uh, this a bunch of like gravestones grass kind of like a darky you know it's it's oh. like a it's like a uh, dark day mm-hmm. um you immediately recognize this um as the city of the dead because yeah. you've pre- previously been here except for um Ghani. before um except for like the honey yes um and the only uh difference that you see because you like recognize this as where you saw like uh, De Gaulle and like uh, Renier, um, you see just this massive, massive tree um, that's like on top of this uh, hill. And this tree is like, has nothing but like uh, uh, acorns on it. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's like a massive tree on top of a like a hill Mm-hmm. Um, and there's also like a bunch of owls that are kind of next to it as well. How, what size are these acorns? Uh, they're about like, I would say the size of like a, uh, like a, a large eggplant, oh, like okay. a very large eggplant. Like okay. uh, you would need like two hands to carry it. And uh, what color are these acorns? Uh, they're various colors actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Taste the rainbow. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, as you're like here, <coughs> you uh, come up through. Trenchco Slimer is actually uh, caught in one of the branches uh, of this tree. Um, almost like we went to like the portal. We just sailed into the uh, branch of, of, of this tree. So he is trying to unravel himself uh, from the uh, branches of this tree. But it almost seems like that the tr- that the branches are. Uh, he's trying to get out, and you would think that it'd be pretty easy for you know him to just roll out. But he's having some trouble. Hmm. Get get getting out of this tree. Wait, can, can you uh, rip repeat that? I'm sorry. Like like the whomping willow. Yes, like, like the whomping willow. Except while well, the whomping willow was like. <laughs> trying to murder you immediately <laughs> but uh yes yes very very uh similar very very similar and there's a werewolf um, under it oh my god uh yeah, so uh, uh i mean dahani will shoot because that looks like a, a prime target <laughs> okay so, so uh, you shoot the tree or you, or you shoot no uh okay. this savviest person this okay. trench coat savviest Okay, sure. Yeah, um, with your bow, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll give you advantage because he's trying to struggle mm-hmm. to get out. So he's kind of like a big bulbous target. Uh, twenty-three. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that is eleven points of damage. Okay. Awesome. All right. Tell me. It's- tell me. How- Tell me how you shoot it. Give me your stance, um, everything. So Dahani comes out of the portal and sees everything, and she's like, whoa, that, that guy's in a tree. And then like, whoa, that tree looks like it's helping. And that's really all I need to know. So she just like she just like pulls her bow and knocks and fires. Mm-hmm. Awesome. OK. Uh, and w- where were you aiming? Uh, can you repeat that? Oh, where were you aiming? Like upper part, lower part, middle? Um, anywhere? probably. Well, is is he facing us, or yes. is he just like okay? If he's facing us, then I'm just going for the same area that I tried to shoot before. Like okay. The okay. So area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so like, the, the the this arrow sinks in pretty deeply. 
Nice. Um, and like uh, he, uh, you know, gives like kind of a like restrained growl um, as 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 he uh, as 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 it sinks through and it's kind of like stuck there, right? So like it's like kind of stuck in his upper torso now. Uh, and at this she'll point, say, she'll say the tree is helping. <laughs> um, yeah, so he. All right, so he does manage to break through, um, and uh, uh, roll initiative mm. here. So not not Rin. Nice. Um, fourteen. Nineteen. Okay. Twenty-one. Ooh. Okay, he is way below that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the direct opposite from last time when he was first and we were all bad. <laughs> yes. So and you have the twenty one, right, Dahani? Or the parent yes. of the twenty. Yes. So Dahani parent Okay. All right. Uh so uh, Dahana, you already went, so I'm actually going to move to Perrin. Ha ha. <laughs> okay. Why are you making fun of me? I'm okay yeah. with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why, why are you uh, making fun of Because I'm a jerk. What? Well, <laughs> yes. I mean, that's true, but yeah. Um, so, uh, what are we going to do here? We are going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. On uh, on Fabius. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so he will have to make a saving throw, a wisdom saving throw. And. Um, All right. Uh, uh, 25. <laughs> um, he saved. Yes. Uh, so let's see. So, like half? Yeah, it is half. All right. Oh, no, no, no. On a fail save, um, if, uh, let's see, no, on a successful save, it takes half damage. So that is seven, eight, um, yeah, it takes four points of damage on that dissonant whispers. Okay. And what is your... What is your uh, so um, your taunt? Yeah. So uh, Perrin looks at him and says, "You pitiful urchin! You can't escape from my friends." And and then he casts dissonant whispers. That is the discordant melody that he hears. And he takes a whopping four points of damage. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'll say that you know he kind of looks at you as you uh, say that, and you don't. I mean, for four points of damage, you don't really see much of a reaction from him. Like he kind of looks more stunned than anything. Right. Um, you know, uh, he uh, kind of falls back. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, after that is Corinne's sister. So she she again is gonna like switch arrows this time and she's gonna fire. Oh, she whips. Oh. Mm, she she whips bad. Um and she goes for the arrow. Um she she uh, shoots it. It actually looks like it's on like target, but I don't know if it's like a gust of wind or something that just makes at the last minute it just kind of flops over and and just uh, misses its uh, target. So, um, so uh, after the really cool arrow the first time, she whiffs that time. Uh, Sleece. Um, so he's still in the tree, correct? Uh, he's gotten out of the tree um, now. Okay. Well, if he's on the ground, um, am I close enough to to like to to attack? Uh, you can get close enough, but yeah, he, he's like floating. But but yeah, you can you can get close enough to attack. Sure. All right, I'm going to use both my attacks. 
Um, does a 20 hit? Uh, it, it does not hit. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, because well, my well, other one is a total whiff at 15. Well, I'm it wasn't yeah. that one. But, uh, no, it wasn't a nat 20. It's um, with my bonus. Yeah, 20 does not hit. Um, oh yeah, he's a... He's a he's well... A, that that, uh, that uh, bulbous exterior is tough. Mm. It's tough. Um, yeah, so uh, tell me how you, how you, how you whiff. I um I go up to him and try to uh, basically sink my sword in, but I I stumble just enough to miss him on the first attack, and then when I pull around to swing, I just go right over his head, and it's nothing but air. Okay, all right, all right. So um, yeah, so uh, that is what happens. Uh, sorry, yeah, he is. Uh, so yeah, we've had so, some things over twenty hits. But not twenty itself. I wish it was uh, a nat twenty. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you definitely would have hit with that. Um, all right, uh, Trenchco Slimer. Um, he is actually going to. Uh, he noticed that this branch was really weird, so he's actually trying to, uh, um, like attack this branch, because he feels that this branch was uh, doing something to him. So he once again is going to take out his uh, his Taskmaster whip, and I mean the branch is there, but the, but the branch seemed like it kind of might have had a mind of its own. So you just get sense that. All right, and he gets another hit. Wow, he missed with, he missed with both. So 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 yeah, he is like tr he's like trying to whip at this branch, but this branch is kind of like moving. It's like almost moving with the whip. So like as like the whip go goes goes here, the, the, like the branch just moves up to avoid it, and then comes back down. And then it comes back and it moves up to avoid it again. Comes back down again. So so yeah, it's like bobbing and weaving. Um, mm. All right, so I'm I'm gonna move to, back to Rin and Gideon. Um, so Rin, as you approach Gideon. Um, uh, again, he is blinded, um, and uh, I'll say that he has this, he has found the healing uh, bottles that uh, that Celise left. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do or say? Uh, do you, do you yeah. need any help with that? I can I can give you some of the potion if you need more. I I can't see. Oh, you're hurt really badly. Um, Okay. Uh, do you need anything? I can I can get you what you need. Uh, we we need to end this. Um, I picked the wrong side, and I realize now what needs to be done. Where where's Savius? Well, everybody went through a portal already. So, I mean, okay. are you trying to go and leave right now? And and I'll say that the portal is still there. Oh, okay. Well. Um, th th there's no time. We must. We must defeat him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if 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 this is what we got to do, we got to do it, and I, we have to help the others too. I just wanted to make sure you're okay before um, I went myself. Can you help though? Because you can't see. Can you bring me to the portal? Yeah. Can you bring me through? Yeah. All right, so uh, so how how are we gonna bring him through this portal? You gonna like? I'm gonna have uh, to carry like, him. You have to. Him... Well, he could walk though, still, right? I probably yeah, just yeah. have to put like his arm around me, and then I'll just like walk yep. him over. Yeah, exactly. You can walk him over. You 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 you, you could piggyback him. You could. If you don't carry toss him, him through. bodyguard style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or like, or what? or you can carry him bodyguard style, <laughs> or, or, or or fireman carry. I mean, like it's up to you. Ah, uh, well, I mean, for a dramatic effect, let's do a bodyguard style then, I guess. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So you... <laughs> got to roll for anything to make sure I could actually pick no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I won't stop you. Uh, I'll, I'll but, do it just for the fun. If uh, you want to see if you drop them. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll uh, Dex. Just 
Just a uh, let's see. Roll a strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, okay. roll a strength. Yeah. Well, that was a that is. Let's see if you can keep them up. Seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll say you have him up, but as you're trying to walk, um, he just seems he's a little heavier than you thought. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and he begins to slip out of your hands. Oh, well, I'm gonna give you yeah. another chance, though. Okay. Uh, roll deck. Roll a uh, athletics to see if you can uh, okay. sort of like you know rebalance yourself to. Keep uh, that's a nine. Um, you know, I'll give you advantage because you are very inspired uh, <laughs> that he still wants to fight, like despite the fact that he's blinded. Um, so, so uh, roll again. Okay. And then what am I rolling? Uh, same thing, right? Yep. Same drill. Uh, fourteen. Okay, looks a lot better. Okay, yeah. So you got him. Okay. All right. And then you go jump th- through this uh, portal with him. Okay. I'm okay. carrying him. Yep. That's right. So, um, uh, so why don't uh, you roll initiative, Ryan? Because you're gonna jump in the, yeah in this fray. Uh, an eight. Okay. All right. And I'm not gonna roll for Gideon because he's kind of a. Uh, he would just be swinging wildly. Um, so, all right, uh, Dahani. Nice. Um, let's see. I want to shoot him again. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I was trying to decide if I wanted to get up close, but no, because. Last time I did, it didn't go so well. Uh, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's the worst one. <laughs> um, so she whips with the, with the first two, and then she's like, screw it. And then she throws the bow aside again. She's got like just this like unlimited supply of bows that she keeps pulling off her back. Uh, she moves up to him and flurry of blows. Okay. There we go. That's a 28 to hit. There we go. All right. Uh, I need okay. him to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. All right. Uh, he rolled an 11. That is a that is a failure. Okay. Um, he is stunned. Okay. All right. Until the end of my next turn. Mm. And like, how much damage is? Uh... It is seven points of damage, and I have one more hit. Okay. Which which is with advantage now because he's stuck. Oh, he's putting the work. Oh, double seventeens, so that's a twenty six to hit. Oh, nice. That hits. For ten points of damage. Wow. All right. So uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so um... seventeen points of damage total, and he's stunned. Yep. Yeah. I'm, mm. putting, I'm putting it down. Um, yeah. So um, that means because Ahani's first, that means for everybody's turn, you you have advantage on your mm-hmm. attack rolls. Uh, plus, uh, if you're stunned, you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws as well. So if you had if you have any uh, spells that require those saving throws. Oh um, my gosh. They, they would automatically fail. Um, and like, obviously he can't take any uh, actions or reactions, even legendary ones. So um, yeah, so uh, good job to honey. So, so, so he is just like sitting there. Um, he, I won't say he has like the birds around his, uh, what it looks like his like head, but he is, he has like little slimers going around his head. You know? mm. <laughs> Uh, just uh, in a daze there. All right, so, Perrin. All right, how close is everyone to uh, Thavius right now? Um, you're all within. You're all within enough to uh, run forward and hit him, right. and retreat. Back. I'm right so, up on him though. Yeah. So, w- yeah. so no yeah, she's one. right up been... on him because she flurried him. Oh, okay. So, so uh, Dahani is within twenty feet. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Every everyone's within uh, tw- twenty feet. Yeah, and uh, mm. uh, S- Silice, after you went for those hits, did you back up or did you stay in? Um, I backed out of range just so he couldn't attack me. So okay. if okay. I if I do decide to attack him on my turn, I'll have to step up a couple feet. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So 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 it's like every everyone is within range to pretty much do what you want. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Because the thing I wanted to do meant everyone had to be out of range. So everything we could do, we could do what we want, except for the thing I wanted to do. So now, uh, do instead, it. live it's, your best life and do it. Right. <laughs> instead, parents going to cast. Jesus, now let's go. <laughs> right. Ray of sickness. Well, if we if we last another round, then maybe it'll do it. Um, Ray of sickness uh, on on this Joker. Um, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, uh, actually, a question. So, uh, when we started our fight before, uh, Perrin cast True Strike on. Yep. I was on, just about uh, to remind you. Yes. Uh, so, in the True Strike, we found out that he was resistant to certain things, but immune to other things. Poison is one of them. Poison is the thing he is immune to. Yes. Fire and poison. Means, oh, okay. Which means Ray of Sickness would have no effect. That is correct. And and Perrin would know that because Perrin cast True Strike. Which is why I was going to remind you of it. You know, <laughs> right. cause, 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 because you cast it. So right, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. um, so Perrin. I wouldn't let you waste a turn like that. Oh, okay. well, oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right. So Perrin I- instead is going to go with. Um, his. All right, you know what? I guess we're we're just gonna live our best life, um, and we're all going to have to make dexterity saving throws uh, because Perrin cast erupting earth. Okay. Uh, on, on the spot where where Thavius is. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody, make a deck save. Okay. Uh, Thav- Thavius auto fails. Uh, there else, uh... All right. Uh, Perrin gets a seventeen. I get a twelve. Uh, fifteen. Oh crap! The bird gets a seven. Oh, oh no. no! The bird can fly though. Yeah, but I'm on the ground right now though. Yeah. And oh, I'm I... sorry. That's an eleven. And I'm gonna. Uh... Uh, Gideon gets a. Let's just have Paige up. Where are you, Gideon? Um, Gideon gets a uh, twenty. All right. So Gideon and <laughs> Perrin save um, for everyone else. Uh, oh man, jeez, I am really sorry about this. We're in trouble. Oh, no. oh well, actually, everyone's in trouble. Oh no. Okay. Um, danger. Yeah, there's there's actually a flashing danger on the <laughs> like in the air right now. <laughs> it's like danger, Will Robinson. Uh, That's scary. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone who failed takes thirty-five points. Today. What? Every everyone who okay. succeeded Ugh. takes half that damage. Oh. So, Seventeen. Okay. Five. So yeah, so everybody take thirty-five except uh, uh, I'll put down for Gideon. He takes seventeen. Yeah. Oh. Right. And I I have evasion, so even though I failed, I still. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh sweet. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. So how 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 do you cast? Oh God. Um. Perrin. He looks at everyone. He says sorry. And then he <laughs> he, <laughs> he 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 looks down at the earth, and uh-huh. takes both of his pointer fingers. 
and he points directly downward, or actually slightly downwards towards Thavius' feet. And then beneath Thavius' feet, the earth starts to crack and crumble. And then things start to shift. And, uh, and then the effect, it starts to ring around. The, the crack and the crumble start to um, widen in a circle around around from Thavius at the epicenter to the, a 20 foot radius okay. that encompasses all of us. All right. Yeah. So like everybody is uh, shaken up uh, and um, I believe the it's difficult terrain now as well. Yes. Uh, the ground yes. <laughs> effectively uh, helped destroy this. Yes. Um, and as you do this, um, uh, you actually you don't know, make a uh, make a uh, just roll a dexterity uh, pair. Net twenty. All right. So you <laughs> you sense that there is a uh, acorn coming toward you, right. um, but you avoid it. Uh, <laughs> you kind of like duck to the side and like avoid it. Um, and you know, and you notice that it looked, I mean, you don't know where it came from, but it looked like the, it just flew off that tree. Mm. Um, because now the tree, since you have erupted the earth, the tree is now kind of like slopped over to the side a bit. Um, oh, no. and you see, oh. and you see like some, like, l l like a few, like a few of the roots, like you can kind of see, um, they're like exposed a bit, but it's, it's okay. Like, it's just like, you know, you. You know, you uh, <laughs> messed up the natural ecosystem on the ground. Right. Great. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So, um, oh, you know, I, I forgot to roll to see um, what current sister had uh, for, from that. Oh, she failed. Um, Oops. Sorry. So she lost 17. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, Current sister gonna try again with her bow. Um, at Thavius. You know, and and she does have advantage because he's stunned. So oh, that's not good, but she does get another attack. Yeah, she fails both times. Four rolls fails both times. Um, but as I said before, you know, we all know that he has a high AC. Um, and yeah, so she, uh, now it's not that the arrow g g gets like diverted. It's the fact that the ground is like uneven now. Um, so as she's trying to get her like a stance, she can't get like a proper stance and it, it just barely misses, uh, trench, trench coat Slimer, AKA Davis. So like kind of like skirts on the, on his, uh, right bulbous side. Um, <laughs> and like kind of like goes goes through. Um, all right, Salise. Um, am I a am I in striking range now that we've had meteor thrown at us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You, you 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 can get back in striking range, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit him. All right, not that dice because it failed me last time. Oh, oh my god, I got like literally the same roll, 20 and a 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you uh, roll with advantage on both hits? What? Did you roll with advantage on both hits? Uh, Yeah, I forgot about the advantage, so let me re-roll with different dice and see if that does any better. <laughs> uh, god, that's even worse. Nope, I whiffed. Yeah, the dice is... are not in my favor. He's a hard one to hit with uh, swings for sure. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, do you want to describe your whiffs, or is it pretty similar to the last time? It's similar to the last time because I got literally the same roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's like a re it's like a deja vu. It's like a deja vu moment. Um, all right. Uh, so now um, we are up to uh, uh, Gideon, who has gotten his sight back at this mm. point. Um, you know, uh, he, 
<laughs> has definitely taken some damage from the uh, erupting earth. Um, and he um, he kind of looks um, again at uh, Rin. Um, and as he looks at Rin, he's gonna he's gonna lunge forward um, toward Thavius. Um, he still has a uh, you know his a little sword, um, so he's gonna pull that out and lunge toward Thavius with his silvered his silvered sword. Um, he is well aware of Thavius's uh, weaknesses. He gets advantage as well. All right, so like one of them hits, he gets a uh, a twenty two on one of his hits. Um, so yeah, so he stabs him right through uh, where that arrow is because he's trying to like you know um, like like he notices that like got that as a point that actually seem to hurt him and he gets right so he gets 18 points of damage um on Churchill Slimer uh this causes Churchill Slimer to actually uh actually uh not levitating anymore now he falls on the ground oh. um and as he falls on the ground um you see a swarm of branches from this tree um, sort of encapsulate him um, into like a little jail almost. Like oh, a wow. over him. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of them, right? And like the like a branches quickly uh, get like really, really thick um, to where he's trying to get out. Um, and because a Gideon stabbed him, uh, Gideon is also caught uh, in this uh, sort of branch jail thing. Um, so that's going to be the end of initiative. Um, Trencho Slimer is on the ground. He is uh, not looking great, um, and uh, Gideon is uh, in this in this branch jail as well. Um, and then you hear um, what sounds like a, a large uh, fart. You hear it uh, okay. in the air. Uh, so, what do you do? Do you approach the? Do you approach them? Do you talk to Kern's sister? Do you try to do something else in this graveyard? What is up? Well, I'm going to try to go for Gideon and get him out of this little branch thing. Okay. Oh. How how are you going to try to get him out? Uh, I mean, is he like? Is it like? Like uh, grabbing his arms or anything, or is it just just like it's like a jail cell, like a like. I mean, like it that. it is like a bunch of like interwoven kind of branches that are completely covering like both of them in like a circle. Um, they're not in the same one though, right? They are in the same one. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. It, it's like a huge mass of branches that are locking them into place. Um, there are some parts where you could put your hand through, mm -hmm. but there's definitely not a section that's big enough for you to pull someone out. Damn. Um, okay. But I mean, you could try, but just yeah. FYI, but if you can't get you out, why don't, would, you mostly you, like, like it's not like there's a big enough space that you could just go through, you know? Yeah, I'm too I'm too nervous to if I try to do that, then you know the slimer will get out too. So okay. try to That's figure it out. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll see what the group thinks we should okay. do. First. Are 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 you going up though? Are, are you I, going I, yeah, up but let me. To... I want to go up to him and tell him we're trying to figure uh, out how to get him out. All right. As you go up, um, Gideon, uh, he you know he he can see you. He just can't like fit through. He like he like says, "Leave me here." Oh Lord. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he like looks down, and like he like I says, I chose to be with the lot of Thavius. Um, you help me see that, uh, you know that there's more to it. Um, but unfortunately, um, I have to pay for my uh, for my deeds. Um, and then he uh, looks down again. Okay, well, we're 
we're gonna try to find a way to get you out of here. Um, I'll come back for you. I mean, if you can, I, w I would appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but uh, right now, and like, as he looks around, there's literally like a huge mass of trees. Uh, he, he, I mean, so, sorry, not a huge mass of trees. There's a huge mass of, of like branches. Um, so, I mean, you could try to like, you know, cut through these branches or you could try to, you know, do something like that. Uh, I mean, they're pretty thick, but like, you could, I mean, you, you could try to. You know, it's, I mean, it's, I, it's, it's worth up to a what try. you want to do. Yeah, it's, it's worth a try because to see. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can go for those branches. Then. Okay. Uh, as, uh, as he's about to do that, uh, Perrin looks at, at Rin and says, Rin, no. Um, Why? Why not? And Perrin <laughs> goes and he picks up the acorn that almost fell and hit him. Mm -hmm. uh, and brings it over to the tree trunk mm -hmm. as he's telling as he's telling Ren not to do that and it looks like he is conversing both with the acorn and the tree trunk of this tree that has been knocked over by uh, his, his spell by parent spell mm -hmm. yeah and it is, it's not not completely over but right, it's like right. to the side a it's bit. been dislodged yes Mm. Um, and uh, so, so um, Perrin. So I guess after Rin says uh, why, Perrin looks and and he goes. Perhaps this place looks unfamiliar to you, but it does not to me. Do you notice where we are? Do you notice that this tree seems to be aiding us? Mmm. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. I I'll stop for now. I, I won't do it right now. <laughs> like and then Ren walks away. <laughs> Walking away right now. I'm a little scared now. A little scared. Okay. All right. So, yeah. so, 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 like, uh, as, 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 as you walk away, um, you uh, make a uh, make a dex throw. Just, uh, just roll dexterity. Uh, let's see. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Uh, you again sense that there's an acorn coming toward you but you avoid it and it kind of falls on the ground next to you mm -hmm. um and then you hear a uh like a fart what sounds like a farting noise uh damn farts coming, through. coming from this acorn uh all right um uh um all of a sudden you hear kind of like um Trenchco Slimer's breathing get very like a lot louder. It sounds like it's labored. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, What? Oh, what is this? Um, and, and Gideon says, This is our prison. Mm -hmm. um, and then Thavius, uh, you know, um, has more labored breathing. Um, and, and he basically says, this is not possible. I have the power of Avernus behind me. Where are our snails? And then Gideon says, our snails, where are your snails? I reject your authority. Uh, and uh, they're in the jail, kind of like talking this out. Um, do y'all want to like listen further? Do you want to figure out why these acorns are falling do you uh, what does I, the party I want, want to, to figure do? out why this why the acorn that almost hit went in the head okay it's just weird <laughs> okay um okay so what what do you want to do to try to figure that out um i'm gonna shake it the, uh, tree? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to pick up the acorn. Oh, you want to shake it? Shake it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. 
Um, and, okay, so you pick it up and you uh, shake it. Um, if you shake it, it, it starts to feel a little warm. Um, and uh, do you want to put your ear to it? I do. Okay, as you put your ear to it, you hear really, 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 really faint, really, really faint, like, <laughs> it's super faint though. But if you could make something out, that's what you'd hear. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd like to say to everyone, uh, I think this acorn is screaming. <laughs> All right. Does anyone? Uh, that sounds anyone... very disturbing. <laughs> yeah, it's that pretty sounds disturbing. very disturbing. <laughs> Maybe you should stop shaking it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have stopped shaking. I, I have stopped shaking it, and it's still making that noise. Uh, no, no. One, oh. one, 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 once you stop shaking it, it's not making that noise anymore. Okay. Um. Can I? Dahani would try to peck it open. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Did I make you roll to peck it open? Uh, roll for pecking. Yes. We, roll for pecking. we are we are rolling. All right. We are rolling. I guess it'd be a, I don't know. I'm strike or like. Do you have like a specific pecking? pecking um. Thing? No, I have uh, my talons, but an unarmed. I, I assume this would be an unarmed strike. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, you're not using oh. arms. Okay, that's a twenty-five. Okay, all right. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, tell me what you do. So, she, so she shakes it and she hears the. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. and it's she stops shaking it and she stops hearing that. So she's not gonna like peck it super hard, but the only thing she can assume is that there's something in this acorn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna like gently peck at it to try and make a little like not break it open, but like create a hole so that okay. she can like try and shake out whatever might be in it. Sure. All right. Um, so yeah, you create a hole in the uh, acorn. You're just pop, 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 pecking at it. Um, you look through the hole? I do. Okay, as you look through the hole, um, you see what looks like a small, um, looks like a small um, arrow with like, kind of like feathers on it. Like it kind of looks like a feathered small arrow in there. Can I try and shake it out? Uh, you can try. Um, it, it won't fit, though. Like, it, won't, like, it won't fit? Like, the hole you made is not big enough for this thing to come out. Okay. Um, well, I guess she just keep pecking until she can get whatever's in there <laughs> out. Oh, my God. Celise is like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Um, what? Yeah. There's something in it. Okay. Yeah. You, you said it was screaming. Leave it alone. Oh, she, she's... She's on a mission, so mm. so we peck him. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> and uh, you make a big enough hole, and this uh, arrow comes out. Uh, Perrin, uh, Celise, and uh, Rin. Why don't you? Well, actually, Rin. I don't think you, I think you would still be paying attention to Gideon. Uh, so Perrin and Celise, why don't you roll history? I shouldn't, we shouldn't need to roll history. This didn't happen that long right. ago. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my God, right. it was only so, one season ago. <laughs> so, um, you brother. said history. 18. Yeah. Uh, 12. Sweet. All right. Yeah, that, that is good enough. Uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, Knock Knock's hummingbird, hummingbird arrow. Yeah. Um, oh my God. And the, the part that I wanted you to roll on was to remember that um, when you first came here with Corinne, uh, one thing that he did was he uh, he buried, uh, he put the arrow uh, on top of the acorn when he uh, when he put it in there. Right. You know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah. So uh, you can, I'm assuming that you relay that to, uh, to Hani. I mean, she has no idea who, uh, who Knock Knock is or anything. Nope. Dahani mm -hmm. doesn't. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Celise holds her hands out. Give me that acorn. Uh, okay. 
And like she she looks to see if there's a way she can patch the acorn or at least put the arrow back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the hole's big enough. You could definitely put the arrow back in for sure. If 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 you like. Uh yeah, we don't want Knock Knock's mm-hmm. arrow just mm-hmm. laying on the ground. Mm-hmm. Is it the same size as the hummingbird, or is it just like a miniaturized version of like it's an immature hummingbird? Yeah, it's 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 like a little smaller, but right. but 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 it's unmistakably right. that right. Um, so as you're uh, doing this, um, Corinne's sister, um, she uh, comes to you and she basically says, um, Corinne told me, um, uh, of your friend, um, you know, like he, he, he mentioned that he knew him, um, and that, uh, and that he buried him here. Um, he also told me um, that uh, that that there was a uh, a power in him and a power in in these uh, in, in these woods, um, and, and that the uh, the the uh, connection can help us in a very in a very dangerous time. Um, so I chose to bring us here with the hope that um, that dangerous time could help us um, against Savius. Uh, and uh, and then she kind of she, she like looks around and like and like I says um, can can you, can you tell me more about him about uh, this uh, warrior that fell that 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 you buried he was truly one of the best of us. Mm. He was brave beyond reproach. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and and then she like uh, looks at you, and like and like she like shakes her head, um, and like uh, she she like says, we, "We we've lost too many good people. Um, that's one reason why um, why." Why I uh, why why I dedicated time to um, trying to uh, trying to save these uh, these uh, snails. Um, um, too, too many good people w- were being used for bad things, and uh, you know I understand that. Um, you know uh, I'm glad that your friend could still help us, um, even uh, you know um, beyond the grief. Yes. Uh, as she says, um, and then uh, she, she kind of looks at the uh, at the, at the a- acorn, and she like says, like, uh, you know, I've never really, uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen a, a tree uh, that appears to know what it's doing, but uh, um, but it definitely seemed like uh, that it, it was assisting us in in our battle. Um, and then, like she, like kind of like says, "Can like a someone?" T- uh, no, she, she like, looks like she's trying to hand off the acorn to somebody. Oh, Salise grabbed the acorn from Dahani. Okay, all right. So like you, you, you have it. Uh, sorry, I forgot about that. Um, yeah. So do you want to do anything with it? Uh, I'm gonna See? try to heal. I don't know if it'll work on a acorn <laughs> or or cure wounds will work, but that's yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, hands. Sure, sure. Your 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 paladin skills are beyond reproach. You know. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do cure wounds on on our nutty friend. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, this my die stop failing me. Uh, cure wounds, cure wounds. Is there anything I need to beat or match for cure wounds, or just whatever I get? No, no, just just whatever you get. Oh, I totally rolled the wrong thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so used to having to roll for action. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> so, Knock Nut is healed for 5, 9, 10, uh, 11 points of damage. Okay, great. Um, as you heal him, um, you kind of hear a wrestling from the, uh, from the branches. 
Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like two branches kind of came up and curled together uh, into like a little. Uh, Aww. Mm -hmm. So like a, it's like a little heart shape. <laughs> Aww. Little branch heart shape. Um, and uh, all the all this time, um, you know, uh, um, first obvious, you know, you you've also heard some rumbling from the little uh, branch prison. Mm -hmm. um, but nothing that is actually breaking, breaking, uh, breaking, uh, breaking through. Okay. Um, Okrin's sister, again, she like says, um, you know, um, like, I really want to defeat Davius, but I'm worried that if we open, if we get rid of, if, if we, try to get through these uh, branches, he might get away. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if we should just leave him here or if we should try some way to um, destroy him. So quick out of character question. Mm -hmm. Thavius is still basically Slimer, right? He's yes. Like jelly? Yes. Okay. Because I wanted to try something that I'm not sure would work. Basically. Yeah. Okay. And as you're saying that, she takes a moment to sense, hey, I need to explain a plot point to the party. Uh, <laughs> and, and she turns to the camera and she says, uh, uh, oh, so many good people made deals, um, deals with uh, different deities in like a Varanus well, even though Thavius was, uh, even though he was reborn, um, I'm glad that we were still able to defeat him even with his new powers. Um, but I would feel much more comfortable if we could find a way to actually destroy him instead of imprison him. Um, and then she kind of gets an idea and she like says, well, maybe I could, um, well, Maybe I could transport this uh, this branch back to Avernus. Well, I mean, the uh, prison, just the prison part, back to Avernus. But I don't know because this also might break apart off of this tree. Um, so would would you all be fine if I uh, take just the uh, just the imprisoned part off from this tree that represents your our friend and uh, bring that? back to Avernus so that uh, th that base is not left here mm. in your world. The big decision. Knock, knock. It is your body after all. All right. Uh, as, you, as you say knock, knock, um, you see basically a part of the branch. Um, so like the like connection between the uh, extended branches that 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 are forming the like a prison and the main trunk start to shrivel up a bit, mm. um, and they kind of recede in. So now the kind of prison part is kind of like a self-contained, um, you know, it's it's like a self-contained prison that's like it's like a kind of like a ellipse on its side, right. and it is completely encapsulating. Both uh, Gideon and uh, and Thavius. Cool. What about Gideon, though? If you take this back to Avernus, well, he uh, he 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 did help us here, but I still don't trust him. He still uh, he he is he he was in league with Thavius once. Who's to know if he uh, goes in league with him again? Fair enough. All right. So, so, so I take it that like everybody is uh, okay, oh, okay with this then. As she uh, readies, you uh, see her take out her bow and she switches to that same arrow that uh, created the portal earlier. Um, and she turns to like er everyone and she says like, uh, "Thank you so much." Um, and as she readies her uh, bow, um, does anyone want to say anything? 
final words to her or to Gideon or to Bevis? Smell you later. <laughs> I hope you're okay, Gideon. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to have you with me on this side of the of where we are yep and he uh looks at you and like says like you know um thank you for showing me the way um i'm willing to uh pay for my deeds uh and then uh current sister turns the boat toward perrin for that awful Snow you later <laughs> joke and kills him right. and then uh she turns back and uh creates again this like black voyey portal um and uh she like creates it around um you know this like self-contained uh uh prison she steps right next to it and the void closes and they're all gone um, all right. Dah- Dahani looks at all of you and says, um, "Sorry, I pecked a hole in your friend." Alicia <laughs> 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 so just glares at her. <laughs> well, she's like protectively holding the acorn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So like, uh, as you're standing here, sort of in this like mess of rubble, um, you know, you like look up and you see th- this like uh, tree. I mean, you just see. There's so many acorns on this thing. There's just lots and lots of uh, acorns on it. Um, and then you like hear a bit of like a rumble, and then you just hear a a large, large what sounds like again a fart, as uh, and gas. And as a perfect way to end season six with a fart uh, from a good nice. friend. Uh, Yay! Yay! Wow! Uh, all right, so we are done. Uh, that is the conclusion of season six of Rivals of Waterdeep. Mm. Um, we're done. Uh, Thavius is uh, gone. Um, Corinne's sister, who ne- never shared her name, by the way, also gone. Um, and uh, Gideon gone as well. Um, and Dahani, um, you know, chilling with people. I mean, we haven't gotten an official, like I'm rolling with y'all yet, but, you know. Right. We will see what happens. Uh, wow. Yeah. So um, that was it. Yeah. It was so was weird great. ending this uh, remotely. But uh, but hopefully I made the best of it and like everyone still enjoyed uh, hearing this yes. this story that I wanted to tell. Um, so we're going to open it up to questions. Um, so um, if you are in, in the uh, Twitch chat, <laughs> you saw funny image in our Slack uh, message from, uh, from uh, Dahani. Uh, I'll put it up this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that is great. Um, yeah, so if like you have any uh, questions for any characters, I'll say throughout the entire season, um, you know, or like any um, specifically the ones that we featured in the season finale today, um, yeah, you can uh, put a question in the chat um, and then type out what your question is. Um, and then we will answer it in questions. character. So these are not questions for us as people. They're questions uh, for our, our characters or the NPCs. Uh, so let's start with a uh, question for Celise. What are you going to do with Knock Nut now? Um, probably just see if we can salvage the tree and rebury him near it. Because I, it's not practical to walk around with him. Mm-hmm. So yeah. my cat yeah, apparently yeah. wants to answer for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you wanted to walk around with him, like you basically have to fashion some kind of like, you know, baby, like baby Bjorn. Yeah, no. exactly. Or, or or like a Bjorn. No, um, we're. I mean, we we do a little too much shenaniganry, and I'd be afraid of him getting broken or cracked. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That that is uh, that is very 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 true. Um, don't don't want that to happen. Uh, question for Thaddeus. Uh, uh, I'm I'm Thaddeus. Why snails though? Um, so uh, Thaddeus, who is uh, you know 
he's like laying down. He is not. He is uh, in pain. He is uh, almost dead. Uh, eh. And he first, like f- first, like he like says, "Oh, so you expect me to reveal my diabolical plan to you?" Um, yes. Tell us everything. And, and he says, "Well, yeah." Um, so um, you know, so like he like says. So I was a, um, you know, I was a, uh, I was an important person in El Toro. Um, I made a deal uh, to save my city uh, with the devil. Um, and part of that deal was to help to spread these snails, build these windows to uh, eventually have water deep, have the same fate as my city did El Toro, which was, which was to get pulled into Avernus as well. Um, and when I failed, when uh, I was killed uh, in uh, Waterdeep, um, I was reborn uh, in Avernus um, as a, let me see if I can mispronounce this right, as a Amnizu, Amnizu, um, which, which is trench coat slime. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately I failed again, but the snails were to create that connection uh, between Avernus um, and uh, Waterdeep. Uh, all right. Question for the for 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 for, for the big snail, yeah, Margie. Uh, so why were you wiggling your tendrils at everyone? Okay. Uh, so the so so the snail can't speak English, uh, but I will say that uh, you know. Uh, sh- that I can uh, translate. Oh, um, okay. excellent! Uh, and the uh, snail uh, says that um, that uh, she was just defending herself uh, uh, dur- during the previous time when it uh, fought uh, the party. Uh, yeah, someone chopped one of the tentacles off, and it went in fight or flight mode. Um, and that if not. Uh, that the, that there might have been uh, you know some uh, positive things that could have happened uh, mm. er, 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 earlier. Um, yeah, so like that's why the snail was kind of sniffing around with his tendrils uh, in the previous uh, four or five episodes ago. Uh, hmm. No, I'm not answering in the dun snail language. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right all right yeah yeah so like uh yes exactly i've covered languages all, uh, automatically you know saying i understand <laughs> it all um yeah 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 so um yeah if there's any other questions pop them in uh question for the group or and you're gonna find the never embers interesting and ask them what's going on between them and the, and the cast landers yeah yeah i was um well i will answer this for myself like before anybody else chimes in I didn't want to push that point. I wanted to introduce them um, and then see where you guys went with it. Um, and um, so, yeah, I just kind of like, I didn't want to push them in if like y'all weren't interested. So I sort of let them fade it, fade to the background a bit. But is uh, any of your characters thinking about trying to find them and asking them more about this cast liner thing and like why they were attacking the house? So, for reasons, Perrin will abstain from uh, asking the Never Embers anything. <laughs> uh, Dahani briefly had that thought when they were tying up Gideon, um, mm-hmm. because the last she saw the Never Embers, they were fighting the old lady that Dahani punched a lot. Um, so Dahani just assumes that they watched us tie up Gideon and then get taken somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just didn't have anything to say about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, question for Dahani. Given all these events, have you gotten paid yet? Uh, no. Um, I'm beginning to think that I never will. It's, a, it's a, You know, it's a strong chance that uh, you uh, beating up, uh, you know, uh, the the matron of the house and uh maybe and teleporting out uh you yeah know, I, don't, I don't know corinne's sister is here though she's technically a castle so i could ask her mm. yeah she is but she seemed ashamed by it she looked down and said only a name and she mentioned that she's 
pretty much been in Avernus a lot. So I don't know if she's uh, really been, uh, you know, chilling in the house. Uh, right. <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, she's been like doing the books right. um, <laughs> from Avernus, you know, to be the accountant. Uh, yeah, sold her shares. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like she sold her shares, like she emptied out the Roth and all that. Like right. she, Dang. She's, uh, she's really good. Um, yeah, this is why you never trust a Karen. Very true. Very true. They will not pay you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. So if there's uh, any more questions, feel free to pop them in the chat. Um, but uh, b- before we get to, uh, you know, our final stuff, uh, I did want to announce that I'm uh, happy to say that we will uh, have a another season of Rivals of Waterdeep. Um, mm. So we will have a season seven. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. as we do, we will be rotating our uh, DM chairs. So this was the finale of my story. And uh, who is DMing next? You may uh, you may share and speak for speak or forever hold your peace. <laughs> who is DMing next? Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. It will be me. Yes, it will, it be, will me. be me. It Yay. shall be yes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. Uh, will be returning yes. to the DM chair. So yes. uh, he will be uh, leading us through season seven, uh, some concoction of things. Uh, maybe he'll take some stuff I created. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe. You know, maybe, maybe he'll take some new stuff, you know? No more snails. There might be some new stuff coming out, you know? Like Wizards often comes out with new stuff. So who knows? Who knows? You know? um, yeah. So, uh, Definitely looking forward to it. Um, you, you, you know, we, we had a fun time in our first ride through through like Avernus uh, that like a Cicero helm, helm, helmed us through. So uh, looking forward to it uh, for season seven. Um, so we uh, we will let you know uh, once we get more details about you know uh, dates or anything that are like that. But we will be coming at you hopefully it'll be in person we don't really know like how long you know obviously quarantining and stuff are i gonna be we're pretty much prepared to do it remotely if we have to right. um you know um but uh, obviously we want to be in person but we also want to be safe uh yes. C- cicero you want to share any uh any any thoughts on your what your plans are any 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 hints um just spoil everything uh yeah so first what we're gonna do is what i will say for everyone is to expect the unexpected it's like a season of big brother uh i am playing julie chen moonbez and i will say uh expect the unexpected cool good to know good to know good to know Uh, left is right up is down Cool. Yeah, and like I'm looking forward to having our first full season with the honey too. Like, yes. Uh, Yay! Like, uh, I'm gonna... excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited, as well. So like, yeah, we'll like have to see how we start the season. Maybe you're on a vengeance path to get paid. You know, <laughs> like, 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 like maybe that's the driving point. Is like, is like you're like I need I didn't get a W two. I need to file my taxes. And, the honey's quest for dough. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, let's uh, go around uh, for one last time in season six. Uh, go around, share your stuff and what you're doing now and what you're doing, you know, in in, in the near future. Uh, let's start with Tanya. Hey, I'm Tanya. You can find me at Cypher Tier everywhere. I think under my face, my Twitter handle is there. That's my name everywhere. Um, uh, the other thing I'm doing is DMing Dragon Age over on the Wandering DMs channel on Thursdays. Um, we just had our third episode. We've got five more planned. Who knows what could happen after episode eight? We may be stuck in Thetis. We are looking for our favorite apostate, Anders. And uh, Fenris is the Inquisitor. So let's see what happens. But that's Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on the Wandering DMs channel with a wonderful cast of characters. Hi. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go, 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 go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm Brandon Stennis. I played uh, Ren Ladon. Uh, you can find me on socials on Twitter at I am Brandon TV. Uh, you can find me here on Twitch at I am Brandon. Uh, I've been streaming a lot more lately, so you can check it out over there. 
Uh, this week I have, I'm going to be on a podcast, uh, happening this week. And then, um, also I'm going to be a part of the St. Jude, uh, summit, uh, that's happening. We're doing a panel on, uh, you know, uh, team fundraising. So that will be on Thursday at, I think 2.30 PST, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of working and trying to survive in this whole craziness. So that's pretty much what's going on with me. Hey guys, I am Cicero Holmes. I played Perrin Underbow, your halfling bard. You can find me on all social media platforms at Stubby Stan, which is right there, right there, guys. Uh, right there. Um, and um, let's see, what do I have going on? Uh, lots of podcasts. Uh, just check my social media platforms uh, for promotions of those podcasts, uh, both on uh, the discovery debrief podcast also uh lots of podcasts on the incomparable network um and uh you know maybe some fun and exciting news coming forward uh, in the future so uh stay tuned mm-hmm. and i am latia bryant at the lady tiefling at all places um this saturday uh and for the next saturday i will be appearing on beetle and grimm's twitch yes. channel uh, I will be joining Matt Lillard, Critical Bar, Michaela Sims, uh, Jen Kretschmer, and our DM Justice Armin for his circus themed story. There will be clowns, there will be milk. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> um, but it's going to be a good time. So. Um, I will retweet that because I cannot remember what time it is, but uh, I will retweet that so that you know when to come. E slash Beelin Grimms. We're going to have a good, wacky, crazy time. Nice. Good. Uh, Can can you share what your character is going to be? Or is Um, it a secret? I don't want to. I know what my character is going to be, but I don't want to share it. All right. Very cool. All right, cool. Uh, and I'm Shreve Jackson. Uh, catch myself at ShreveJackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F Jackson.com, and also Shreve Jackson on all social media. Um, don't have uh, much else going on aside from my normal tutoring and game playing and stuff. Um, I thought the pandemic would be a time that I would start doing more streaming, but it hasn't happened, so <laughs> so not really doing that. So yeah. Um, we're, we're just chilling, um, but one, 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 once again, y'all, thank you everybody for, uh, you know, watching and, and and supporting Rivals over 60 episodes. This has been great. Yeah. Uh, man, like we, we like consistently get like great feedback um, and like make sure to, you know, pass that feedback on to Wizards as well, you know, uh, because like we, we want to make sure that like there are more shows, you know, that are, you know, um, that that are like ours, right? We we, we don't want to be, you know, one one of the only ones that people mention when they talk about like, uh, you know, like d- diverse casts, right? It should be more of a normal thing. So, uh, make sure to give them that that uh, that th- that feedback. Uh, we may be posting content before the start of season seven as well. So make sure to check the podcast feed, check our Twitch um and check the uh you know um the D- the D channel as well um we might have some other people joining us for next season we're not sure yet um but we'll see what's in the cards um so for that y'all we are out for season six uh, see y'all uh when season seven starts bye, bye. bye.